Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Exodus chapter 24, verses 15 through 18. When Moses went up on the mountains, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. For six days the cloud covered the mountain, and on the seventh day the Lord called to Moses from within the cloud. To the Israelites, the glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. Then Moses entered the cloud as he went up on the mountain, and he stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. In the perfection of God's new creation, we human beings could see God as he is because we were just like him. We wanted what he wanted, and we knew what he knew. But those hands that reached for that forbidden fruit in that holy garden turned everything upside down. Once we humans tried to switch places with God, God's image in us was replaced by an upside-down version of itself. And now God looks all upside-down to us. For example, we should just know that God deserves all the glory. We should always just get it, that others deserve as much love from us as we give to ourselves. Doing these things should come naturally. That they don't shows how upside-down we are. It also reveals how wicked we are in our sinful nature. And because of this, the Lord has to spell things out for us. We're told in an earlier verse of today's chapter, The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and stay here, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and commands I have written for their instruction. The commandments. The Lord is gracious. He wanted to commune with Moses. He wanted to commune with his people. With Adam and Eve before the fruit, it had been easy. They knew God. Now, But now these human hearts no longer knew God. All he could do was write his will on stone tablets for them. We need it spelled out for us too. We need God's commandments. But having it spelled out for us isn't enough. The Israelites in today's reading had just promised to keep the Lord's commandments and follow his will. You might expect that everything would be just peachy now, but as Moses climbed Mount Sinai, where the Lord's glory was resting on the summit in the form of a cloud, our passage today says to the Israelites, the glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. You see, knowing what God wants from you and agreeing to do it doesn't take away your fear and terror. In fact, it only increases it. But to the terrified and the insecure, God reveals his glory in a new way, not just as a consuming fire, but as a glory that he shares with us the gift of heaven. Here too, everything looks upside down to us. A suffering Savior, dying for the sins of the world, looks anything but glorious. But what a glorious message. He died for you, for me. A splash of water in God's triune name. What's that? But what a glorious encouragement. You belong to him. A thin wafer with wine? Not much, right? But what a glorious promise. Jesus' body and blood given and shed for you. Everything, again, upside down from what we would have expected. It's fitting that 1,500 years after Mount Sinai and the Ten Commandments, the time of our reading, the Lord would have Moses show up in front of Peter, James, and John at Jesus' transfiguration on the mountain. Because seeing Moses there tied everything together for the disciples. It ties it together for us too. God's glory is not only in his laws and commandments, a terrifying thing for our sinners, it's there in his forgiveness through Jesus Christ. And that's the glory that he shares with us. Life now and in heaven. So flip your expectations about God's glory upside down. Don't look for his glory in dazzling displays or in our own idea of what a glorious lifestyle ought to look like. Instead, look for his words attached to water and wine and wheat. Listen to God's promises and through trials and crosses, patiently wait for him. Through it all, we have his promise. One day, he will flip us right side up again so we can see him as he is in heaven. See you next time.